Hey guys, Deer Hunter DVM here. Uh, I am on the track of a buck I call Sub Zero. How do I know? Well, uh, I have been spying on him the last couple weeks in this snow that we've had, and he's dropped his antlers. So I thought I'd come out and try and A, cut his track, or B, uh, find his antlers. Well, lo and behold, he's been running around, and I kid you not, I've got, I'll show you some pictures later. He's been running around with a like a two year old that hasn't slipped his velvet. And guess who just come pouring out of the timber down there on the other end, right out in front of me. My wind cone was blowing right down at him and both of them took out together. Big bodied mature deer with no antlers, little velvet rack, probably weird testicle injury buck with him out into outer space. So I'm backtracking this track. Let me show you what I found here. Okay, so you can see his tracks. This is definitely his front foot versus his back hoof here. He's not gonna lead with his back hoof as he gets ready to hop over a little water hazard here. You know, so a deer's gonna cross the creek with his front hoof first. And he's got a bigger front hoof and that's going downhill a little bit. You can see the size of that track. Uh, and I found some hair just on up ahead here where he's kind of scratched it off on some of these branches right here. So, up he goes and out into the wide open field. So now the fun part, yeah, there's that hair guys. I don't know if you can see that very well. Now the fun part, finding where he lives. We gotta hurry, we're gonna run out of daylight. Yeah, let me spin that around. He goes and stops right here for some reason then doubles back. So, now it's going to get intermingled with other ones. That is not him. Too small right there. This is him. Okay. Okay, let's talk about deer urine real quick. This is buck urine and not doe urine. Why do I know that? You see the little splatters? Those little dots all around the edge? Well, that is urine dripping off the end of his prepuce, the little hairs that are there. Uh, a doe's will not, um, a doe squats a lot lower, so she shouldn't be flinging urine. You know, if you've got urine in a, uh, a spot that's, say, about the diameter of a, a you know, like a, a eating plate, you're probably dealing with a buck because it splatters and it slings off to the side as he's standing there. Um, those little droplets are classic around the edges. Um, okay, guys. I've definitely found his him in that uh, weird velvet buck's bed. You can even tell which is which here. <laughs> here, let me spin it around and look. I'll show you. Okay. This littler bed is the um, that little velvet buck weirdo. And that guy right there, ooh yeah, that's a little bit bigger. Yeah, by a fair sight. Yep. Okay. Yep. There's some does down in this bottom down here too. There's a whole cluster of them, but those tracks, these tracks are buck tracks that lead up into here. There's a pair of them. I just walked it back in. Okay. I've got a pin in this spot from the summer too that I thought might there might be a bed in here. Okay, cool. Now I can now I can slow down. Yeah, there's where they've moved. So they've moved three different times here. One two three just based off the snow and the pair of them so you can you can get really confused let me, let me make sure this is running here yeah you can get really confused uh by the sign that you're seeing like multiple beds look like like two deer can look like multiple beds but if you look you know those two over here behind us they're full of snow so that was Last night, they got up, stretched, milled around, ate a little bit, plopped down right over there where there's a little more 
ground cover, but a little um, a little less snow in it. And then right here, whoop, bingo, is a fresh one and another one. And there may even be a fresher one that, fresher pair than that too, but these are definitely the same two deer. They just, <laughs> these are definitely the same two deer. There's just deer multiple they're just two deer but they've stood up and stretched and moved around and bedded a couple times so now i can take a break now i can backtrack and go back into that island out there and really put the boots to figuring that out i've been walking by this deer hunting him this season hell we all have but we've gotten away with it because how shallow the contour is uh, right here in front how deep it is right in behind this holler and we've been just walking right past each other stupid bullshit <clears throat> Always looking around always thinking Always thinking I'm gonna, I'm gonna try and hunt this spot. I'm gonna put a stand in it this weekend for next year, um, but I'm gonna do it this weekend for sure